Oh, that's unlucky. PMA Jellies is like the best player in this entire game mode by far. All right, win, win, loss, win, loss, win, 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 loss. GM? All right, I'll take it. Cool. Here's the deal. So, every single game, all of my teammates seem to be on the same page of, we need triple tank, we need Lucio. This game mode is actually stupid in terms of how necessary Lucio is. If, for those of you who don't know, they made it so that if you capture the flag, you cannot use any movement abilities. Like you used to be able to just pick Winston, capture the flag, ult, and then jump back to spawn for free with a billion health. Yeah, you cannot do that anymore because if you move, if you use any movement ability on any hero, you automatically drop the flag. Except Lucio's wall ride. And Lucio moves faster in wall ride than everybody using their abilities already pretty much. Especially when he gets up high and just goes crazy on the wall riding. Lucio is a speed demon and he is a must pick in this game mode. Every single game we had Lucio, every single game we had Roadhog, almost every single game we had D.Va, and then usually we had a Reinhardt or Winston to back everyone up. So expect triple tank plus Lucio. If you're good at Lucio, you're going to do very well in this game mode, might I add. Also expect very much for there not to be a single good CTF game. What I mean by that is, let's first let's talk about normal competitive. So the normal Overwatch competitive game mode, you have a lot of good games. You have an okay amount of bad games, a couple good games, but a lot of really good games where it's close. You will not have close games in CTF. This is always 3-0-0-3. It is fair. I think I had one, maybe two games out of all my placements where both teams had a point on the board at some point in the game. Almost every single game. It was 03 or 3 0. And a lot of that is caused because this game is so built around who has the best Lucio at the moment. Honestly, I'm thinking they're probably going to change it so Lucio can't wall ride all the way back because this is really coming down to who has the best Lucio. You have to talk in terms of how your Lucio is going to get in and get the flag, who's going to walk back with him to make sure that there's no one waiting behind to kill him, and who's going to stay near the opponent's spawn so that you can just keep relaying the flag, and that's how you make a domino effect, and that is how all games end and win. If you thought staggering and normal competitive sucked, try staggering and competitive CTF. If you have a stagger problem at all, it's done. And these games can end quick. Like we're talking under four minutes. These games can be over. Just like in Lucio Ball, if you have Nathan as your goalie, it's over fast. Which speaking of Lucio Ball, you can almost, I almost call this game mode Lucio Ball at this point, because it's all based around Lucio while riding with the flag. It's, it's basically just another form of Lucio Ball. So after I got my placement, I played two more games. I believe I won it. I won my next game and then I lost the one after that. When I won my first game, I went up like 50 SR. I went straight up to like 4,100, it was like 40 something. I went up to like 41, 45. And then right after that one loss, I went down to like 40, 80. <laughs> so your first couple games after your placements are going to be incredibly swingy. That is when you really want to try to win. I wish I had known that going into it, just like back in the day with competitive how it used to be, you would have super hard swings in SR off your wins and losses after your initial placements. It is exactly like that right now for competitive CTF. But I, I still had fun anyways, win or loss. It, I was actually very surprised at the level of fun this game mode had become after removing the movement abilities. You, It's actually very enjoyable. Once they fix the Lucio wall riding free win type of deal, I think this game mode could actually be kind of sweet. But until then, it's just kind of something fun to do every once in a while when you're bored of normal comp. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this talking video, and I hope you guys have an amazing night. Take care, everybody. See ya.